Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rinku, and I cannot wait to play Black Desert on Xbox. You already know I'll be live streaming daily on Twitch when BDX releases, and that will finally give me some time to AFK life skill over on BDO. Today, we're going to be looking at the Pearl Abyss Q&A on the Play Black Desert Reddit, which, if you didn't know, is the official Black Desert Xbox Reddit. I'm going to read every single question and answer that community manager Shirna has responded to, while also giving a BDO veteran's opinion. Let's get into it. We are the Black Desert Xbox team. Ask us anything. This was posted almost two weeks ago, but the release date for BDX is still over a month away. So this is a lot of information that will hopefully be very useful. For those of you that want to read this post yourself, I will have a link in the description. For everyone else, you have me. First question, multiple parts. We'll start with, will we be restricted to Balanos, Serendia, and Calpheon regions on launch? The answer? Can't give specifics on regions quite yet, but possibly. I highly doubt we will see Media or Valencia on launch, but I wouldn't be surprised if Media was part of the very first content patch. The next part is, will world bosses and boss gear be present with launch? The answer is world bosses and boss gear won't roll out immediately, but they won't be too far away. It's hard to imagine playing Black Desert when Zarka doesn't even exist yet, however that probably means that Laverta will be best in slot on launch. That answers 2 and 4, I don't know what happened to 3 either, but let's look at the very first part, which is a little bit more complicated. Have the double tap directional skills been fixed since beta? From my understanding, there's many parts of this question, and it wasn't fully understood and answered here. However, he did answer, so from what I tested, is that Double Tap is still there, but Shake Off itself has a skill combination. But more importantly, goes on to say, I don't think you'll be able to remap Double Forward though. Sorry. This may be a huge letdown to some. With the controller already having limited options for key bindings, this is one of many challenges playing on a controller will bring. There are still many comments from players who played during the beta that are saying double forward, even when used correctly, sometimes doesn't activate. Hopefully they are aware of this issue. Next up, what is taking the game so long to release? The beta felt like an almost complete game. Are you guys just trying to make UI and quality of life improvements for Xbox, or is there something more y'all are working on? This is a long answer, but a good one. Once we finished beta, we received a lot of really great feedback. We wanted to make sure most of the feedback would actually be implemented. A lot of it was really good quality of life things that we overlooked or downplayed the importance of, things like motion blur. There were also things that were completely missing in beta that some players failed to realize. We had to add the life skill UI so players could actually track their life skills. We had to improve the graphics and the optimization. Lastly, there were some back-end systems that needed to be worked on. At the end of it all, we wanted to release a game on Xbox that was worthy of being on a system. I think that is pretty amazing. I personally would rather the game be as polished as possible before release, so hearing this is great. Will there be any changes to the AFK systems in the game, like processing, fishing, and dummy training? An Xbox isn't really something you leave open and running. Most will start it to actually play, and it shuts itself off if you AFK for too long. And the official answer is... So the AFK mechanics will stay the same as PC for now, but it is something that we will keep an eye on after launch, and see if changes will need to be made. The developers are aware that it could be an issue, so they'll be monitoring the situation carefully. He also mentions it's the same exact system that was in beta. This is a pretty big deal because AFKing is actually a very reliable source of income in the game. Most players I know on PC never log out, only get disconnected to log in again later. Hopefully on Xbox you'll be able to minimize the game and play something else without noticing, but it still seems kind of weird to just leave your Xbox on forever. Not to mention the cost of electricity, or the possibility of your Xbox overheating, but I hope it works out. I will be skipping questions if they lack useful information, but up next we have a 6 part question full of information. Max gear levels. Will we have hardened sharp shards right at launch and pry plus gear? No, max gear levels will be capped at plus 15 for launch. Will we have Awakenings Day 1? No, not at launch, but slightly after. 
Will the XP rates be the same as they are currently on PC, or will we have something similar to the PC launch rates where 50 was the soft cap? The answer is XP will be similar to how the PC version is now. Sieges and Node Wars. When should we expect these to enter the game? Their answer? Once we feel that guilds are adequately prepared for it, and we're ready to roll them out, they will be added. We want to allow guilds to form and expand before rolling out the content. In my opinion, I don't see why they couldn't have released Sieges and Node Wars at launch. Maybe there's a technical reason, or maybe they just wanted to wait for everyone's gear to balance out, but at the same time, I feel like the game was made in a way where even if there was some crazy power-hungry guild, <laughs> Blood Legion, um, multiple other guilds could just team up against them. Like, it's not really the end of the world. We see it happen all the time on PC, the top guilds just get kicked out and then come back the next week and take it back. Will all life skills consume energy at launch, or will cooking, alchemy, and processing have zero energy cost like it is on current PC? It is the same as the current PC version, so gathering will require energy, fishing can require energy, but cooking, alchemy, and processing will not require energy. Which is great to hear. Next, which karma system will we be using? As in vanilla, current, NA, KR? Answer time. At launch, it will be the Korean version of Karma. There will be time for us to change it if necessary before Karma plays a big part in the game. It takes a while for PKing to really start popping off. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, but I'm not sure if there's even a difference between the current NA and KR Karma system. There is definitely a difference between the vanilla and current systems though, so it is good to see that almost all the mechanics in this Xbox version are current. It's mainly the content that's going to be lacking when it first releases, but of course, it'll come over time. How fast can we expect other classes to be available in the game? Actually, a roadmap will be revealed soon, but we're hoping to get new classes out quicker than most people are expecting. It's been stated we will get updates quicker than the PC version received, so how quickly can we expect content updates and will it be weekly updates like PC, or will we only have one or two updates a month or less? With the certification process, it's difficult to bring weekly updates, but we're working hard to make sure we release content on a regular basis. We can't promise frequency yet though. I've been told that patches may be monthly, but that means when you do get a patch it will have a lot of content. Will there be any differences from the PC version? In other words, will any aspect of the game function differently? Right now, I don't think so. We've started as a faithful port that may eventually take its own path later. This is just a crazy concept. The fact that, even though right now it's a PC clone, in the future it may have updates that the PC will never receive. When do we get to pre-download? We're still working on the pre-download date. We'll announce it when it gets confirmed. Good to hear. How well does the original Xbox hold up in highly populated areas or areas where a lot of action is happening? It holds up okay-ish. There are drops, but we continue to work on optimization. Will we be able to customize our video settings to lower the quality, textures, and effects? Apparently not at launch, but it is something that could possibly come in the future. Will we get the new breeding system and marketplace at launch? New breeding system is a yes, marketplace we're not ready to talk about quite yet. Will the max pets we can have out be 3, 4, or 5? 4 pets is launch spec. It's actually quite surprising, I thought they would have said 5, but I guess we're only getting 4. Here it is, the biggest question in the entire Q&A. Will level cap be 55? Although the Q&A answer said differently, we have a post from January 13th. Hey guys, it seems my wires were crossed, but I'm glad to see such a passionate response from all of you that didn't really get too out of hand. The level cap is definitely going to be 55, and the cap will not be around particularly long regardless. Thank god. Another interesting question in this 5 part post is, will the max character slots be 12? or more, or apparently less. At launch, 7 will be the max slot number. 6 slots will be open by default. This is very interesting to me because the PC version has exactly the same number of character slots as there are classes in the game. The Xbox version will have 6 classes when it releases, but for some reason, apparently will have 9 7 character slots. 
I'm curious to see if they're going to give us an extra character slot for every class that's released on Xbox in addition to this extra 7th slot. Are there any changes to the UI? I really like the UI in PC, where you hit control to access those extra things on the screen. Can we get something like that after hitting the menu select button on Xbox? Unfortunately, we won't have an option for the control button on Xbox due to the space already being tight on the controller. We have added a few extra buttons on the menu though, so some things might be accessible through there. But for now, the control option will not be in the game. Sad days. This is a long worded question, but basically, game share will not be available for Black Desert, if you are wondering. What impact does the server choice have? Do I have to choose wisely, or does it not matter which one I pick? Your server choice is actually only Europe or North America. If you're playing on NA, no matter what actual channel slash server you choose in NA, you can change it anytime. You're stuck to NA, but you can choose any NA server. Will the current costumes for classes on the PC version be immediately available day one on BDX? No. We will be rolling them out over time, costumes will need to be optimized for Xbox before they go live. Will there be an in-game reporting system, and can you hide your location on the UI to avoid stream snipers? I believe there will be in-game reporting, and as for the hiding the server UI, not yet. I will have her bring it up. And this is actually kind of important, because if you stream on Twitch, you can probably make an overlay to hide it like I do, but if you're streaming on something like Mixer directly from your Xbox, you might not have the ability to use a custom overlay, so this could be huge. In case you didn't already know, I should also mention it in this video. On the BDX launch, there's only going to be 6 classes. The Witch, Wizard, Warrior, Sorceress, Ranger, and Berserker. Even Tamer and Valkyrie will not be there on launch. Will the character gallery and templates be available? If so, will it be there at launch? Yes, and most likely. Something I want to know personally though, is can I take my template from PC and somehow put it on Xbox to then use on my Xbox character? And I hope the answer to that is yes, somehow. Will we get beta rewards once we log in? The answer is we'll be sending most of them out slightly later than launch. It was mentioned earlier up in the Q&A that the pre-order rewards will be instant, so just keep in mind you'll get the pre-order rewards instantly, but the beta rewards will come a little bit later. Will we be able to remove or stop camera shake and or camera effects? This is a pretty big one. We turned the motion blur down heavily, but screen shake is still there. I will however make a note to bring up an option to tone it down. Please do, I hope you have already done this because this is so big. When do you think you will reveal the achievements list? Achievements list? Question mark. We can reveal that in the coming weeks, I'll talk to the team about it. It sounds like they have absolutely nothing planned for the achievements list, but if they do make one, it would be very interesting to see what they put in it. Who knows, maybe someday I'll be making guides on BDX achievements. Super important question, I agree. Can we take off camera shake? Just completely just remove it. Not right now, but I'm going to pester the developers about it. I really hope you do, because this is just another thing. Just give us full customization, all UI options, everything, and we will be happy. Will we have the option to use custom guild banner, emblem, and flag images, or will we be limited to preset options, like beta? It's unfortunate, but we'll have to use preset options for launch. Will we be able to change the controller button layout in-game? Yes, in fact the option was added to the game a week or two ago after beta based on the feedback we got. Really awesome to hear. Will Olvia and Arsha servers be on Xbox? Not at launch, but they will most likely be added later down the line. This is another thing I don't know why they couldn't have at least added Arsha day one, that would have been pretty cool, but oh well, I guess we'll get it eventually. And here it is, the last question I'm going to look at. Will there be native mouse and keyboard support for Xbox One? No, we currently do not plan on supporting keyboard and mouse. That may change in the future, but for right now, we're keeping it controller exclusive. Even if you were to mod your Xbox to use a keyboard and mouse, the camera would still be made for a joystick on a controller. As long as they continue to make the game controller exclusive, 
everyone should be on an equal playing field. The day they add keyboard and mouse support is the same day you will be at a disadvantage by playing on controller. I hope I filled you in with all that is BDX. If you love me, you'll like and subscribe, because I love you, and I'll see you next time.